Last time on Babs Bear Talk. That looks good. Oh, it just looks good. What do you think, Colin? I don't know. I like the little drums. So we're at work, and um, I sent a couple of quotes out. You know, in this industry that we're in with the providing the service of silk screening bottles, there's no Black Friday that you can do for your customers. There no, there's no dropping the price because it's a special season or a special day because our prices are so rock bottom low already that um, if we drop our prices, we might as well not even do the job, you know? So you just got to send out the quotes when they ask you and, and hope that everything that you sent, you know, please the people. So I wanted to talk with you guys about something that's been bothering me with a friend of mine kind of run it by you guys so I have this friend and we've been friends for like 30 years I mean such a close friendship that this person is the godparent for one of my kids so I haven't seen him in years like physically seen maybe like in 10 years but we keep up through the phone and through Facebook so I have several people in my life that's kind of like this guy to where you'll call them and if they're busy they won't tell you what they're doing but they'll just say, let me call you back. I, I, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I hate when people do that to me. Because if I'm vlogging right now and somebody calls and I answer the call, I'm going to say, can I call you right back? I'm right in the middle of doing a clip for the vlog, but I'll call you right back, you know, within five minutes or I'll give a time frame. If I'm with a customer, I'll tell them I'm with a customer. If I was talking to mommy on the phone and mommy was like, I'm talking to my mom, can I call you back? And you don't have to give a lot of details, but you say something, right? And um, I have quite a few people that do that to me where they call you back and that's it. They don't feel the need to tell you what they're doing. And you either like suck it up and take it or, you know, you get all up in your feelings. So um, this guy did this to me the day after the elections. I called him up because we are from the same party affiliation. We have the same feelings about the elections and so on and so on. So I called him up, you know, figure we could commiserate together. And I said, hey, blah, blah, blah. And then he goes, let me call you back. And I said, okay. Well, you know, he does it all the time. So I try not to get up in my feelings. And then um, he says, I, I was just heading out the door. And I, if he has a cell phone, he has never given me that cell phone number, okay? I always call him on a landline. And I said, okay, no problem, later. You know, so he never did call back. That's since November the 9th. Today is December the what? Uh, 6th. Today is December the 6th. So um, when we went to visit Joe's mom the other day, as we were leaving, Joe says, why don't you call so-and-so and, and let's pop in and give him like a little 10-minute visit, you know, to physically see him. And he has a standing lunch date that, that he's invited us to come to, but we've never gone to the lunch date because he lives 50 miles away from me. And usually when I go to LA, I'm visiting my dad or my sister or, you know, Joe's mom. And when my mom was alive, my mom. So I didn't have time to put him on the agenda. So, and he doesn't drive, okay, he doesn't drive. So anyways, um, he, um, he, I called him that day when Joe says, why don't you give him a call? and see if we could pop in and you know do a little, a little porch visit. So when I called, it went to voicemail, and so I told Joe, I didn't leave a message because it went to voicemail. I said, I don't feel good about this anyways because he's always said, if you're coming down and we're gonna go to the dinner or whatever, to lunch, give me like a couple day notice. And um, when Joe got to the car, because I had called when we were in the elevator, he says, call again, leave a message. So I called and I left a message and I said, hey, we were downtown you know, here visiting at this location and this, you know, walk and don't walk. And um, we're pretty close to where you live and we wanted to see if you were there so we could pop in for like a little five minute visit just to see you and um, say hi. And he never called back, so I don't assume he was home. You know, so then later on that evening, I was telling the kids what happened. It, it kind of set heavy on my chest. And then the kids were like, well, maybe you called the wrong number, mom, because ever since I got my new iPhone and I've been transferring numbers from the Android to the iPhone, sometimes I put people's phone number in kind of like backwards. So like, maybe you call the wrong number because the voicemail doesn't have um, his voice. It's generic. And so um, we dialed the right number from the phone. We looked in the old phone, dialed the right number that same evening, and it went to that same voicemail. So I know I called the right number, but I didn't leave a, a message at that point. So it's been, I think, over a week, and I haven't heard anything from him. But within a day or two of me leaving that message, 
he put a post on Facebook and it was one of these like generic random type posts that's not really generic or random and he said um, I'm you know gonna be 53 in a few weeks and I think it's time to purge some people from my life and do you think it's right to do that do you think it's right to purge people from your life and I don't know what all the things said but basically that was it and I see a lot of people will put stuff out there like that when somebody's hurt them and they're pissed at somebody and it doesn't mean that they're throwing it at you because I've done nothing to hurt this dude you know so um, I just found it very coincidental that he put that thing at the same time when I'm trying to reach him to go visit and he never ever returned my call. So this is what I plan to do and this is what I'm asking you guys. I don't plan to call him again. Um, no hate, no animosity, no nothing, but I don't plan to call him again. I figure like this, two strikes and you're out for me. I called you, well, three because the last time I didn't leave a message, right? I called you, I left you a voicemail. I had a friend, we were friends for like 10 years and back in 2014, the same thing happened. I texted her, I think, the Friday to, you know, see what she had planned for the weekend and tell her to have a great weekend. And she never answered back the text. So I waited till Monday and I called and I left a voicemail saying, hey, I texted you on Friday. I haven't heard back from you. I hope everything's okay. There's no emergency. Just checking in on you. And this is somebody that we would speak three or four times a week. And she never, ever returned that voicemail either. So I figured, why bother? And that was 2014, and now we're in 2016. No fight, no animosity, but I feel like this, like what T.D. Jake says, if someone wants to leave your life, allow them to do that. You know, so I don't know what was this guy's thing. I don't know if, he even, if it's even against me, but I just find it so weird that that happened, and I am not calling again. Do you guys think I'm right? What do you think? What do you think, Joe? Yeah. About so and so. <laughs> Joe said I would call one more time and see if he answers. He not the one calling and getting rejected, huh? <laughs> Let me get some work done, guys. At other people's channels because all of a sudden I start getting a lot of views at my vlogs and I'm thinking it's the hashtag vlog vlogmas or whatever that's in there. Mm -hmm. Huh? I think so. Look at my sweater, guys. I like that it, the color goes with you. It goes with my eyes too, the yeah. shadow I have. It's fiery. It is. I'm here. Always. here. <laughs> I'm getting glasses. <laughs> it's a good day. I told, did I tell you that I told Joshua to vlog from school? Damn, I want to get there, but I want to get there alive. Did you know? Huh? Did I tell you that I tell Joshua for, um, vlog, vlog from school? school? Yeah, he's like, I asked him because I was like, where's the purple camera? And he's like, I don't know. He's going to use his phone. That. He said he's going to use his phone to do it. No, I know that, but I was asking him where the purple camera was. Let me text him to remind him. He is taking a final. So off to Costco. Huh? Joshua went with, right? with Jory. See what you know. Oh, okay. You don't even know you your even boys know your rode kids. in together today. What the hell is that? Hell, hell half frozen over. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear it from here, but there's a bunch of little kids screaming. Because they have a, what is this, on site daycare? It's a child center for development. A child center, it's basically a daycare. People who come to school put their kids there, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Jory had to go there to do some stuff to get his job. Huh? Oh. Why? Whatever. Here's the charging station for little golf carts. I've never ridden in one. Kind of want to, though. Kind of want to just take it. We should just take it. <laughs> you know that, Josh. I'm right behind you. Way over here. <laughs> we are walking here. I think there's an older looking one. You can tell by a really faded looking color. At least that mink got stuck in my throat. It's a little starkness. At least your breath will always be good. <laughs> Remember these? These are all. Trailers. I have a class in a trailer. Let me tell you, that's not a fun feeling being in the trailers again. Where are trailers at? Not these ones. It's all the way back there, like way in the back. I have to go for that class. Ooh. Here's the. I don't think this is the main part, but whatever. No, the main part's not a library. Look at that, uh, that architecture stuff over there. Yep. That's a cool building. There's Jory, Jory's not a morning person. <laughs> I'm kidding, that's like all that kit is, is a morning person. Here's the art building. 
gonna go there next quarter. Here's our fancy piece of art. Look, it's art. It doesn't look good to me. I don't know what that is. Someone just stuck some things together and just like their stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan, you can't cuss to the vlog. Shit, shit, shit. Jordan! <laughs> I'm rendering all this footage unusable. She drop it out. <laughs> I think she's figured out how to deep stuff out. Alright, I think that's enough. Yeah. We'll start getting into people and I'm for sure people don't want this in their face. And we're back where we started. That is my small walk around the school. See you. Okay, I'm vlogging. Just getting them to. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go. Her baby's starting to get cute, but it's still not. She really does have a cute baby. No, at first that baby looked like a little alien. It's growing you know that, into it. You know that guy, Honest Bachelor from Periscope, the handsome guy? He says, I'm gonna lose a lot of followers over this, and he was like laughing, can't stop laughing, and he showed a picture of his of his friend's baby because the friend posted a picture, and he goes, I hope my friend doesn't come in, but I have to show this, and the baby was ugly. <laughs> that kind of baby you called, oh, she's so precious, though. I don't want anybody to ever call my baby that, so I hope I have <laughs> When you say you're brave, he has a lot of personality. <laughs> oh, nice feet. Nice feet. <laughs> you like, I'm the sis. I parked far away. If you want to stand somewhere and wait, I'll go get the car. If you can't walk. I can do it. You can do it? Yeah. Ugly, but you need to acknowledge your ugliness. Exactly. You can't just pretend, oh no, I'm not ugly. Come on. You, know. you can't be a family Did and you... be like equally as ugly. Like I it's too if my much. viewers noticed that we were at Costco talking about an ugly baby when we left off. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're talking about a whole ugly family. Like, who ugly? So who ugly Jada? The ma ugly? The, the ma ugly. ugly. The daughter's ugly. The, the son's, son's <laughs> ugly. <laughs> they all ugly. They, they all have like no necks so and they, they all look they like got parking the bad Badging. Catch a train, catch a train. The train. Hate trains. I don't know why I don't like to stop right there because if that shit the rails. 
Yeah, Metro. You want to go right on the Metro, Jay? We could go vlog us on the Metro. I never I'm have. I'm going to Hollywood. Eh? Okay. When are you going to Hollywood? Um, not now. Not Don't now. we have to go to Union Station to get down to Hollywood, though? Yeah. We have to catch another line, right? We yeah. catch this line in our next line? You have yeah. to go from Union to Subway. To where? Union. We have to get the subway. subway to the Union. We have to get Union. a subway? Like, under the ground subway? No, you can just take one of the... Oh, uh, the bullet train or whatever the hell it is. Whatever that's called. We have to catch a train to catch a train. I don't think that <laughs> I'm going with Louis. He knows something he knows quite great. I'll get you there. <laughs> I'll, I'll go, get you there faster I want to go to Hollywood though I want to go blog from there We should yeah. and, and you know what It's not the right weekend to go Because they made a threat Against the red line For Universal Studios Or some crap oh. That they're going to do Terrorism on it That's And so bad. the mayor says I'm going to ride a train To show you I'm not scared Mayor's going to die I'm like you go by yourself dude My mayor <laughs> Has been real This is the mayor of LA Not my mayor She's smart She's smart The mayor wants to do it first So I, he can avoid doing it Of later. course he's going to have All kind of entourage with him mm -hmm. Probably the chief of police exactly. and, and all these snipers and stuff Going to be with the mayor Uh uh This okay. sounds like Batman You know when like Joker Separates those fairies mm -hmm. <laughs> He wants the mayor to be on the train So yeah. he can <laughs> <laughs> And Tracy went to the museum of tolerance yesterday And she came back so Emotional Why did I think that was in a different like Didn't you I go to that gym? No, I never went you to never that You never went? We need to no, go I thought you went. went I never together. got to go Well the boys say they didn't go Could either But guys? I know somebody went No one went You didn't let me go on a it's lot of only $15 to go in Let's, Let's make go. a deal and go Like Real never time. let me go on any field trips Lewis, when you have day off again Oh, it's either It's always on Sundays And sometimes Saturdays Okay, we, we can't go Saturday Because it's almost Saturday Because it's a Jewish thing And they observe the Sabbath No. Oh. So we, we have to go the rest of the week That's and she German. said everybody should go to that because they will know why That's voting right. for Donald Trump was an ass white move. Exactly. And plus I want to see if my, my person survives. Yeah. You know how I feel you like, like a person? Tracy's person died. Of course. Tracy's person died. <laughs> she was crying. She came back so devastated yesterday. And she goes, but I'm glad I went because now I know we have to watch oh what Donald Trump's going to do. I know. Kill us. He's the next killer, I swear. It was like 50 bucks. You 50 the bucks for the ones, frames so, uh, and then all the rest of the, uh, the lens the came right I hate that. I don't, I, don't like her, I don't like that. The I sometimes do. I guess it depends. That. I got it for mine. I did that once. I got one more video to convert and then I got hey, a mama. Louis, uh, Jada vlogged when she was cutting your hair and everybody was saying your hair cut look cool. Oh, thank super you. Fly. Oh, cool. Thanks. Uh -huh. Super cool. cheap. And then I think it was Sandra that says Jada need to open a little oh. shop. I'm and I tell Sandra, Jada don't got no license. You want my baby get lock up? Because <laughs> they're not actually have to pay it. You don't <laughs> <laughs> right now it's in like, Lewis. right now it's burning. Lewis, you don't say that out <laughs> loud, <laughs> Lewis. Now it would help pay. Yeah. <laughs> but it's easier to do dudes here, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> dudes is just like straight yeah. this with some gr We some have bars. like six styles. Cut the top, right yeah. You don't want to cut girls' hair. <laughs> Stupid car came and blocked me. Joshua says like that guy over there in the orange. I don't see him no more. I think the pole's blocking it. That guy over there in the orange sweeping up the leaf. That must be a sucky job because the wind's blowing. It's not blowing bad right now though. No, it's not bad. But they rake up that leaf, right? Let's see if I can zoom in. The camera has good zoom too. They rake up the leaf and then half of it blows away before they get into the truck. <laughs> We're heading down to the DMV to turn that paperwork in from the car that we sold because you have to report these things when you sell a car. Don't waste time because you don't want them to go get in an accident out there and then it's still in your name. Mm-hmm. When the red button is on? Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, see, I'm doing it. This is pretty. Pretty. He's, he doesn't want to go back on the boat. Splash. Splash? Yeah. 